can't believe I've never seen Ghost Rider. So I just finished watching it, and uh, wow, what a what a weird movie, eh, guys? If you haven't seen it, um, I don't know. You should go you should go watch it, and see if you like it. I want to see your guys' reaction to it. This movie always flew under the radar for me, even when I was a kid. I remember when it came out. I think it was in like grade six or seven when it came out, and it fucking. I don't know. I saw the trailers. I thought Ghost Rider was pretty cool. Played as him in Ultimate Alliance. Never really got into him. Was never a huge Nicolas Cage fan. And then I watched some of the movie like a month or two ago when I passed out. And then I restarted it today and I finished it. So all in all, I'm going to get the positives out of the way first. Um, I think they nailed the tone. I think the tone is really good. Some really, really cool editing shots. And obviously the best parts about this movie is when Nick Cage is Ghost Rider. Something's really cool I didn't know I found out before the movie. So it kind of enhanced this experience a bit. But apparently for this movie they did uh, x-rays of Nicholas's Cage. Like his actual face. Facial bones and structure. And they used that for the skull face of Ghost Rider to actually kind of match his face, which I think is fucking really cool. I wouldn't have noticed that before. But, uh, the special effects when, especially when Ghost Rider shows up, I think they are wicked, and I think they pulled up today, like, really, really well. Some 2000, like, six, seven movies hold up really well today. The special, if there is a couple of moments where there, like, he's driving and, like, the, the buildings are all blurry, but that doesn't, I don't really care about that. I care about what the bike looks like and how the fire looks like. And that, to me, looked fucking beautiful, honestly. And I think it's wicked when he's driving up the building and the glass is breaking. And there's so many cool techniques that Ghost Rider does that I didn't know he could do. Like, I know he always has the chain, but he uses the chain a couple of different ways in this movie. And it felt fresh. He wasn't just using the same move over and over, just choking people. And, like, the one part where he starts the fucking tornado, that was really cool. Or he, there's, like, a... He turns just, like, a little thing of fire into a fireball and throws it at the demon guy. Shit like that, I thought this movie nailed. I thought it did really good. I actually don't think Nicolas Cage is a bad choice for Ghost Rider. I didn't, like... I, did, I really, I kind of didn't like, like, the human version of him because I don't really like Nicolas Cage that much. But him as Ghost Rider wasn't that bad. I don't know if he did the voice, but if he did, I actually, I think he did a better job than that, doing that than actually playing himself. Um, the, the movie has pacing issues, definitely, but I think it starts off pretty good. But the emotional moment, like, he... Me, personally, I was starting to get invested into it, and then, then they just move on. It's, it's, it's really, really rushed. I don't know why they chose to do it like that. Um, I didn't really like the villains. By the way, we're on to the negatives now. I did like the, the actor that played the devil. I really liked him. I wish he was in it more. But the guy that had his little minions, their, their powers were cool, but I mean... That character was kind of stupid. I don't think this movie was intentional. Like, I don't think they... I think they did intentionally mean, you know, not to have any build-up. And I think they just wanted us to have a goofy, fun time. Like, every time the villains... You see the villains, like, they're fighting. Like, there's no build-up whatsoever. And I think if this movie was made today, if Marvel wasn't like how they are now, um, I think Ghost Rider would work really good. If they brought him in the MCU, I do think they would fuck him up really bad. I don't want them to do that. I do think they're going to screw Blade up. I really hope they don't. I'm trying to keep a positive mind on that. But I don't know. The MCU isn't looking really good, guys. But the actor that played the devil, I really liked him. But all the fights, like I said, the way he kills people is awesome. But like everything else, like story's pretty... The plot's not bad, actually. I found it pretty amusing. And it's simple. But like everything else, the acting is, I'm going to be honest, is probably the worst part about this movie. The boringest part about this movie is sitting there watching people talk because the acting is not good other than Eva Mendes. 
who's sexy as fuck as always. But like Nicolas Cage has always been a, a bad dramatic actor in my mind. Other than Pig, I really like that movie. Other than that, I... oh, there's good actors in here, but the acting is just not good. And I, the dialogue isn't bad, but Nicholas is. I've always had an issue with him and his the line delivery in this movie. I think some scenes are really good when he's with the old man, but like everything else with the girl and all that, I don't really. I don't know. I don't really feel it that much. And especially because it's rushed. If we had a bit more time with them, I think it would be a bit better. So, all in all, great special effects. Not that bad fight scenes. I wish the fight scene in the jail was like an actual fight scene. But him doing that big like volcano explosion was pretty cool. I wish the fight scenes went on a bit longer. I wish there was a bit more of them. And this movie's actually pretty fast paced. Now that I think of it, there's a lot more pauses in my mind, now that I'm talking about it, the more than negatives. The only thing I didn't like, I just thought the acting was bad. Like, I could watch this whole movie Ghost Rider just going around and fuck people up. If they're not going to do build-up properly, then yeah, I could watch Ghost Rider fuck people up all day. But I would rather have build-up and then build it up to a big battle. But the third act's pretty fucking cool. I found it, I wasn't expecting the old guy to be a, a Ghost Rider himself. But at the same time, he noticed... Nicholas Cage was a ghost rider the first time he saw him, so I was like, how the fuck does he know? But I never thought he was going to turn into a ghost rider. And the whole scene of them going down the desert, just driving, nice clean shot of them just driving down, you can see the flames. I, I thought it was really cool, man, it was really cool. This is when Marvel, they do take risks now, but when they're making Blade and Ghost Rider, it just felt a lot different. I don't know, it felt a bit more risky. Especially the way he kills people, even though there's no blood. It's a pretty, it's pretty good. So tomorrow I'm going to do the second Ghost Rider, because I haven't seen that. I'm going to watch that tomorrow when I get home from work. And then uh, Wednesday I'm going to do Fantastic Four. Thursday is the second Fantastic Four. And I'm seeing Doctor Strange on Saturday, because I can't get tickets for Thursday or Friday, because they're sold. I'm fucking pissed. No spoilers, don't spoil it for me. But I have a theory of... Uh, Fantastic Four is going to be in Multiverse of Madness. If they're not, they're not. It's not going to ruin my experience, but ja, I know there's a Fantastic Four movie coming out. I'm thinking Fantastic Four, either Blade, or I don't know, man. I think they're going to bring someone someone big in. I think if, if it was Fantastic Four, that'd be fucking awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching.